We are asking tough questions about a major $400 million project involving new construction and some demolition of the Marine Drive Public Housing Complex. The now 72-year-old Marine Drive apartment complex really showing its age. Sooner than many of us would like to think, they'll be 100 years old, and they're really ugly. So the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority thought about trying to modernize the 616-unit complex with its very cramped, very inefficient quarters. And the more we talked about it and the more we costed it out, the sort of ineluctable conclusion is building new is cheaper. The new plan use this adjacent BMHA parking lot to build new structures, then transfer residents to them in a cycle to eventually demolish all the seven old 10 story towers for new building space and a commitment for a mixed income community of affordable housing on the BMHA owned waterfront property to pay for it a quote complex financing plan involving federal state and yes, private investment in public housing. That would trigger a little bit of an alarm bell, thinking, okay, they're gonna wanna raise these rents so that the investors are able to get some return here. I can see the fear. That's not the way low-income housing tax credits work, though. So all of these units will be affordable. That's, I don't mean affordable in the colloquial sense. Affordable is a term of art among developers. It means they will be rents keyed to your income. People will not pay more than 30% of their income for rent, including utilities. Another question about that parking lot near the Skyway. Are you going to be able to fit everything in that footprint there? Do you feel with it's all we own? Complex? So that's where we'll have to be. You'd be surprised how it's probably 21 acres. You'd be surprised at how big that parcel is and how badly utilized it is. Now, Brown thinks the construction could actually begin in that parking lot come 2024. In the meantime, they're going to invite Marine Drive residents to a series of what are called design meetings so that they can have some input in the planning of this complex. And Brown says that this just falls in line with Governor Hochul's call for affordable housing. Reporting live from the Marine Drive area, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Back to you. All righty, Ron, thank you for that tonight.